y'all it's your girl sequoia j back again with another brandon video <laughs> ah i played too much <laughs> Oh, baby. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. For real, though, y'all. It's your girl, Sequoia J. And I'm back at it again with another Brandon video. So, today, y'all, we're going to go over business plans. So, getting started on your business plan. So, below in the description box, I am going to drop a link to a great, awesome business plan template that you should carry and pass on please i say no more so in the last video i kind of gave you guys a brief introduction of who i was the predicament that i am and i also explained to you guys that i'm also a classmate just like you guys i'm still a student in the game i'm just helping everyone cheat right now so we can catch up together come on <laughs> So y'all, first we're going to start by going over the word brand and what does it mean to me personally. So to me, the word brand is how you identify your business. Like what caused you to start this business? Like what pushed you? And so with that itself, you have to go deep. You know, a lot of people, oh, I started this business because it's going to help me make money. <laughs> Moral of the story, don't let that be, don't let that come out your mouth. Do not let that come, don't, don't let that slip out your mouth to nobody when you are explaining, <laughs> when you are explaining your business to somebody, do not let that slip out your mouth, okay? Truth, don't get me wrong, but at the same sense, you're not just doing this, I hope that you are not doing this thing just because the love of money. I hope that you are doing whatever you are doing when it pertains to your business is because you love what you're doing. You have a passion and a purpose for what you are doing. Like, what are you doing? It's going somewhere. Like, you know. So. I started Sweet Flame Kitchen based off the love that I have for cooking. Cooking just honestly lands me in a place of peace. It just makes me feel better when I'm in a kitchen just cooking and creating something that tastes this phenomenal like that's the goal make sure this piece of food tastes phenomenal <laughs> brightens my soul even more just to see someone excited by the creations that i make One bite a sweet flying kitchen would definitely save the day <laughs> for those who are real was really listening to what i'm just saying did you see how i did that i just didn't go in just saying oh i did this i'm doing this because i know i can make some money no, 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 no. All money ain't good money, okay? And if you're doing something because of just money, you might not know how to do it. You might know how to do it to the most advanced level ever. But I'm telling you something. If you have a love and a passion for it, you're going to get worn out. You're going to crash. I hate to say it. You're going to crash because money is just materialistic. Money is just a reward that is gained from using your gifts from just, you know, just doing things that you love. That's just the reward of it, all right? <laughs> How long have I been building my brand? I have been building my brand, I would say, seriously, for three to four years. But technically, it's been nine years because I'm going to tell you why. Whenever you start a business, you automatically start a brand. Your brand is your business. Your business is your brand. All right? All right? Okay. I got confused because you like, hello, Lord. You 21. How you been doing building your brand for nine years? I'm finna tell you. I'm finna tell you. Hold up. Hold up, baby. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. When I was in middle school, I guess as you can say, that's when my hustling light like, turned on in my head. I started a uh, party promoting when I was in seventh grade. So those who do party promoting, those, that's a whole chaotic business itself. And so, um, when especially when you're doing party promoting, you gotta be, you gotta know about yourself. So. Let's go back to this thing to where your brand, your your business is your brand, but your brand is you. 
And so everything starts with you, all right? And so um, I had this little popularity streak going on when it, when I was, it started in middle school, seventh grade year. And so I had connections to this venue. And so I just went from there. So I was around 13, 14. At that time, it wasn't, you, I couldn't go get a job. You know, they didn't have jobs my age. So I had to do something to make some money. So that's one thing that I started doing. I knew people. I knew people that knew people. And so I got with those individuals and boom, there you go, a party. And I did that all the way up to like my 10th and my 11th grade year. The last party I had, I think it was Big Boogie and DJ Brown. Shout out to those two. Shout out to DJ Brown and shout out to Big Boogie. Y'all, much love. Much love to them individuals. Much love. <laughs> that you guys may be asking and it is how many times have I rebranded I have rebranded numerous times it's nothing wrong with rebranding the more you grow the more you are going to rebrand it goes back to your business is your brand and your brand is you so the more you involve evolve evolve and elevate the more your business is going to do the same. And everything that's attached to you is going to do the same as well. So you're going to have numerous, 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 numerous times where you want to feel like, hey, I need to stop. I need to rebrand, refocus, reset, do whatever you got to do. But the main, main, main source to that problem is keep going. Stay consistent. Stay disciplined. Long as you know what you are stopping and rebranding for, do it. Go for it, okay? No matter how long it takes, go, go, run. Enough about me, you guys. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of more intake of who I am. If you keep watching and keep tuning in, you're going to continue to get to know me over the course of everything. Keep tuning in. Um, Y'all, if you are watching, you are at a... You are with me right now. So keep holding on, all right? Keep holding on. Let's get started on this business plan, y'all. We're going to go over this business plan, okay? Papers. Your pencils, your pen, and your notebook ready because we're going to learn some good stuff. You are first, you know what I'm saying? You sit down, you have this ideal in your head, and your ideals are so valuable, y'all. Keep your ideals and your goals and your dreams to yourself. The only thing, the only only thing that you need to be telling your goals and your ideals and your dreams to is a piece of paper, all right? It's your piece of paper because God already knows because he implemented you with those ideas and the goals and the dreams, okay? Well, this is a conversation for another day. <laughs> it's good to have a, a plan. You have a plan, you got a purpose, you got a plan. It's good to have that business plan, okay? Because that business plan is going to help you along your way. You have to continuously remind yourself of this business plan. Why are you doing this? What, what way? What do you need to do? What experiences you need to gain? Uh, who you need to network with? What you need to, you know, read and learn about? What videos you need to watch? This business plan is going to help you, okay? It's going to really, 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 really help you guide you through everything but it's a star it's a key star and say one thing too your business plan is going to always change as well okay because as you are analyzing and going over your business plan step by step you are going to run into some situations where you're like okay this doesn't fit my business plan this, this doesn't fit my brand okay let me, let me rephrase that this doesn't fit my brain you know so this is not for me i don't want this anymore so it's destined to always change it's okay long as you have a star in point all right a score deluxe business plan that i am going over 
I had the opportunity to have access to this business plan when I first started. It was very hard for me to find and come across. It was a blessing that I came across of it. And so that's why I keep it tucked like a baby and I share it to as many individuals as I can because it helps you literally. If you click on the link and you read it, it helps you step by step. But we are going to go over a couple things in the video. So... Stay tuned. Guys, with anything that you do, you want to always have a plan. You want to have a plan because your plan is going to help, you know, guide you, guide you and remind you. And so this is basically what this business plan is all about. Any, You don't have to be this score deluxe business plan. It could be any business plan that you have, you know. Is your plan that's going to help guide you and remind you along the way. Because, guys, this is, this is a journey. This is a journey. This is an ongoing journey. This is a journey that is kind of rough, you know, but it's not as hard because it's what? If you're doing something you love, you are destined to stick to it. Even if you be inconsistent and not disciplined for a couple times, you're still going to always find your way back because you are doing something you love, you know? So this goes back to your plan, okay? And your plan will always change. Don't, <laughs> look, it will always change. But as long as you have a start, that's what all that matters. The most important page, and you really don't have to focus on this when you are starting, unless, you know what I'm saying, you really get it all together and you're ready to go talk to an investor, you know, your credit's in a good place, and, you know, you're good, you ain't really got to do no, really a lot of backyard work. But if you got to do a lot of backyard work and you just want just a, a simple outline and a plan for your business, you don't really have to focus on the executive summary right now. I personally skipped over the executive summary when I first started and read strictly to the, you know, what page was that? And started on page seven and um, did that got that out the way and then i went back to the executive summary and i went back to the executive summary because your executive summary is typically when you are working with lenders and investors or you just trying to you know gain a business partner they typically just go straight to the executive summary page because that's the page that's going to explain your business what are you doing you know instead of them going over all the prank pages they'll typically just read that one page and you know better make sure that the executive summary gives them the ideal, you know, what they need, the answers that they will be answering, uh, you know, asking for. So, as I was writing my executive summary, I was, I had set myself in the mindset as if I was an investor and I was coming forth to my business and wanted to invest in my business. So, it might sound confusing, but you, you however you go about a way of explaining it you know do it to your best and your ability but make sure it's clear and sound enough for someone to just read that page and like hey cool beans here you go or i'm ready <laughs> you know read the template i'm not gonna go over you know everything but if because if you I, I i'm not gonna go over everything because if you read the template it's gonna tell you everything all right, it's literally going to tell you what a company mission statement is, what a company philosophy and vision is, what should your company goals be, what a target market is, the industry. It tells you that. It literally tells you that on a each, you know, on a each number, each step, each outline. It tells you that. It explains that to you. Read. As you are going through the template, you know, Everything everything is going to have a description attached to it. And the description is usually an explanation of why you need to know this. You know, this, like, this is a very good template. Like, it, it's awesome. It's very awesome. But I'm not going to do a long, boring video over going step by step of this. Uh, I'm going. I'm just here to really ask, answer any questions, you know, be that guidance, you know. Like I said, I'm still a student, you know, so I'm learning a lot of things myself. But this is one thing that I did conquer was this business plan. Like I said, I'm still adjusting my business plan to this day. But it's very necessary because it's going to help you. Like, for instance, I had a moment to where I wanted to just stop completely because things 
got a little tussle on me, you know, a little tussle. But as I was shutting down, yeah, like I was shutting down, like I would put stuff up, like all type of things, you know. I ran across my business plan and I sat there and I read it and I was reminded of why my purpose, like why did I really start this? You know what I'm saying? And so that helps a lot because the mission statements and the philosophy and the visions that you typically are going to come up with when you are doing this business plan, it's coming from you. It's your beliefs, like something that's true deep within you, you know what I'm saying? And so that's why it's so important to, you know, just when you're entering into this, this, this branding world, and I say branding, when I say branding, when I, and I'm, I say business, I say a lot, you know what I'm saying? Because all is connected together. When you are entering into this world, you are entering into a, a level zone of you. You know what I'm saying? You are entering into a zone that many people are not strong enough to withstand because it, it, it's hard work. You know what I'm saying? But long as you got a plan and your plan is connected to a purpose, you are all right. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to be easy. But it's not going to be as hard because you got a plan and you got a purpose. Them two P's. Keep your P. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. Remember that. <laughs> Do not share your business plans with people. Do not share your business plan with people, y'all. Don't show nobody your business plan. I don't care if it's your, your mama, your daddy. You can show your mama that. <laughs> I don't care if it's your best, 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 best friend since y'all was at Pampers. Don't show nobody your business plan, okay? Don't do not do that. Because when you show them your business plan, you giving them the key to your game. To your game. To your console. To your world. You giving them, them a key to be destructive. You know what I'm saying? Just, just life. You know what I'm saying? You never know. And it goes back again, y'all. Your brand is you. Is you, y'all. It, it, it starts with you. Everything that is <clears throat> brought into reality has to be formed in your mind before it is, it, it is brought into reality. I think I'm saying it correctly. If I'm not, you know what I'm talking about. But it is brought into reality. But you brought into reality is yours. Is you. I... So you have to be careful. It's just like you having a baby. You got to think about it. It's your brand is your baby. It's you. You form. This is something that forms inside and within you. You know what I'm saying? So you have the master control. You and God. You know what I'm saying? So that's what this all is about. You know, <clears throat> keeping that mindset. And all, when you, I can go over all this information but i have went over all, all this information myself people have went over this information with me but it all boiled down to me you know that's why i stressed it a lot and i pushed it a lot you because everything bowed down to you you know and so you got to make sure your mind is good. You got to make sure your intentions is right. You got to make sure your soul is up purity. If it's not, you got to make sure that everything you're doing is good. It's in good deed. Because now when you have your brand, your business, you kind of got something to lose. You know what I'm saying? So you got to make sure whatever you putting out is going to hit you and your business, your brand, whatever the case may be in a in a good way. You don't want to put out anything bad and it hits you and your business and your brand or whatever the case may be in a wrong way. You know what I'm saying? In a bad way. So it's really all about what you put in, your attentions, you know, um, your, in, your star goal and your end goal. Everything is really, <laughs> I can't stress this, it's about you, okay? It's about you. And so... Um, it's grind season. It's grind season for all of us, especially for me. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, I'm a student in the game. I just up one because guess what? I, I hold a little more information than everybody else in the classroom. 
So I'm really just helping everyone just cheat so we can catch, catch up. You know what I'm saying? I'm just telling them, you know, it's not even cheat. You know, just ways to go around things and ways to avoid certain things. You know what I'm saying? So the best advice that I can give before I uh, end this video is that sit down collectively. You know, do whatever you got to do to get yourself in this in a peaceful state go sit in your closet go sit outside go sit in your car go whatever you got to do to put yourself in a peaceful mindset before you get started on this template do it once you complete this template hold it tight like it's your baby like it's your your your, your world however you want to put it like it's your boyfriend like it's your husband like it's your girlfriend like it's your wife your mom whatever hold it tight carry it along with you i always have it in your back pocket but when you create this business plan tackle it start now don't look at oh i don't have the money right now i don't have this i don't have that even if we start with you making a video and saying hey look i started my business page even though you ain't even got the products or even don't even it's not not advanced at the service yet start that business page you know what I'm saying start gaining those followers you know make sure that you present your philosophy your mission make sure that you carry that with you along your way you know what i'm saying so make sure everything that you are do is everything that you do is connected to your character how you move it's the time time is money money is time the time that you put in learning about your brand and your business the time that you put in just even taking steps that's necessary in order to accumulate that money to start, you know, to invest in it to properly. Uh, all of that is important. It's important, but you got to be consistent and disciplined with it as well. And it's something that I, I'm saying because I, I'd be a hypocrite if I didn't say I lacked in them. And I still kind of lack in them areas of being consistent and disciplined with my brand. If you really been tuning in on my brand videos, you know, it's been a good little minute ever since I didn't have another, you know, I have made a branded video. And so, um, that's the light to it though, y'all. That That's the key. That, that's the major key to it is just, man, tackle it. Tackle it with a full force though. Tackle it with integrity. Tackle it with knowing that, hey, I got this. I'm gonna get it done. And so, like, stay committed to yourself and your goals and your dreams like this that's so important sometimes you know we gotta wake up push ourselves to wake up at that 5 a.m mark to get up and pray meditate you know what I'm saying push ourselves to stay to a routine to help maintain our health because health is wealth wealth is health but y'all we're gonna continue to go over there that's something we probably go over in the next video wealth is health health is wealth whatever but I hope that I was able to help someone out in this video. Like I said, I'm still a student in the game. Just help everyone kind of cheat their way out and not going over the, you know, the things that people think people need to hear, but go over the things that people really need to hear, the real stuff. You know what I'm saying? That this ain't easy. But it ain't as hard, you know what I'm saying? You got to make sure that you keep yourself in a good mental place. Uh, carry good energy. Surround yourself by good energy. If you're in a place right now and you get ready to start your business, lock in. Lock in. You know you got people around you that's not on the same path or just not even in a place to where they are almost locking in or people around you that carry a lot of negative energy that probably gonna keep you distracted probably gonna you know saying not want you to succeed you y'all know who those people are remove those people even if you are in a relationship and you feel like hey my relationship take too much of my time do what you gotta do you know what i'm saying whatever that's none of my business but when you start something, you want to make sure you finish it. That's all I'm going to say. All right, y'all. It's the Koya J. <laughs>